So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Eclipse. So once we get to Eclipse.org, I'm going to click on Download. That'll take us to the latest update, Get Eclipse Neon at this time. So I'm going to click on Download 64-bit because I get a 64-bit system. And once it shows me download, I'm going to click on that. And the binary starts to download. So it takes a moment. Once it gets downloaded, we'll extract it and install it. So here we go. We're going to look at where it downloaded. I'm going to open that up. Okay, it gave me the Eclipse installer. So I'm going to open up the Eclipse installer and this will allow me to choose different versions of Eclipse to install on my system. So once the Eclipse installer gets up, I notice there's a notification. And so what I like to do, the notification points to update. So I'm going to go ahead and update it first. Once it's updated, the Eclipse installer reboots. Now that the Eclipse installer has booted back up, I'm going to go ahead and select my version. And so what I want is Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. That'll just give me all the features right off the bat that I use and some I don't use, but it gets me going quickly. So what I like to do is install it in the default location and I'm gonna go ahead and name this training so I can use this for the series of the talks. Once I click install, the installation will continue for a few moments and install all the Eclipse plugins and the default package for Eclipse to run. Okay, so now Eclipse is finished installing. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and launch it and confirm that it works. So Eclipse Neon Point Two. So here's the Eclipse workspace by default and I'm gonna name it training for this series of talks. Once I click OK, Eclipse will finish booting back up. And Eclipse boots up and once I do that, I'll close the welcome page and adjust it maybe slightly. I don't see anything else I wanna do in this talk, so this completes this video and we'll continue in the next talk.